and I used to be black. <laughs> but according to Wikipedia, I'm multiracial, which means that I still get profiled as a shoplifter at Macy's, and now I also get profiled as a terrorist at airports. <laughs> Especially since I stopped straightening my hair, because this hair with this hue with the Birkenstocks are a dead giveaway that I am a radical extremist. <laughs> True story, I was in North Carolina a couple months ago. Have any of you ever been in North Carolina? Oh yeah. Okay. North Carolina is a little weird. I mean, nothing personal. Were you born in North Carolina? No. Okay. Okay. Just <laughs> checking. But the thing about it is that it's in the South. So traditionally, it's a red state. But all of these northerners have relocated there, so now politically it's become a blue state, which means ideologically it's kind of fuchsia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm still black in most of North Carolina. <laughs> Maybe Samoan, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I was at the airport and I'm going through security, and all of a sudden I hear, you, get out of line and come with me. And I think, ooh, they got one. <laughs> so I'm looking around to see who it is, and I notice that everybody else is looking at me. So this TSA chick pulls me over and feels me up and pats me down. And then she starts to ransack my hair. <gasps> True story, like a pig foraging for chuckles. <laughs> I mean, what did she think? That I had a detonator up there? <laughs> that I was gonna go and blow up the damn plane? <laughs> Not with me on it. <laughs> you know, I am a nice heterosexual Catholic girl, so the jihadi promise of 40 virgins waiting to service me in the afterlife, I don't care. <laughs> Now if they could promise me Dwayne Johnson <laughs> in the back seat of a limo <laughs> feeding me grapes <laughs> while he was folding my laundry. 